Hi, I wanted to show you uh, four paintings that I did of some Native Americans. This picture is watercolor, and it is a picture of Chief Blue, who was the chief of the Catawbas in South Carolina when I was teaching near there. He allowed me to bring my photography students to their fall festival. It was always right around Thanksgiving Day, and some of the Lumbee Indians from North Carolina would come down for that. They had all of their craftspeople. Um, their braves were um, doing the, making music with the drums and dancing. It was a wonderful day, and I took photographs also and this is from a photograph that i took back in the early 90s i think he had a proud look on his face and i just thought it was a good portrait to paint and then there were crafts people and this Catawba Potter lady was making clay and I just liked the colors and the way she was sitting there working and so I wanted to paint this lady also. This is a little bit closer up. She has clay on her fingers from working. The Catawbas fire their clay a little bit in the ovens first and then put it in a hole in the ground with different kinds of wood. The clay that they use is a gray clay, but when it is fired, it has the black on it from the soot of the wood that burns over it. It's a beautiful pottery. I don't have these two framed yet, but I believe this was a Lumbee chief. And this gentleman was there with his horse and I just love the headdress on the horse. Those festival days were good memories for me and I enjoyed painting these paintings of the Catawba and Lumbee Indians. Please subscribe to my channel. I like to collect wedding vases now, all of these are not wedding vases, but some of them are. And um, this black one is from R.W. Adamson Collection. I'm not sure what um, type that is. This one I got when I was in New Mexico. It's a Pueblo Indian um, base, wedding base, and this is a portrait of a picture of the lady that I bought it from. Let's see. There's more information. This one is Cherokee Indians, and I took it with me to school one day to talk about pottery, and on the way out, I dropped it on the sidewalk and broke it, and I haven't had time to put it back together again, or I haven't taken time, but I'm going to, because even if it's broken, it's still beautiful. 
This one is not a wedding vase, of course, um, but I got this one in Pompeii when we went there. And um, it, since it was an old piece of pottery, I wanted to get that. This one is Navajo when I traveled out west. Let's see if we can turn it around a little bit. Beautiful paintings and markings on it. Let me see about this one. This one I have listed as an Apache wedding base. Let's see if I can show you. Has a wolf and some pine trees and another wolf. Beautifully painted. This one says Broken Arrow on the underneath side. That one's a larger one. And this vase is Catawba pottery, and it has been broken also. But you can see the gray and um, from then the darker black from the soot. Some of them have more black and some less. But these are beautiful pieces of pottery and I wanted to share those with you. Thank you for watching.